This is the embrace between the successors of St. Mark and St. Peter, as the Pope of the Coptic Orthodox Church thus received the Pope from the Catholic Church. After a few minutes of meeting in private, both delivered speeches. Coptic Pope Tawadros II stressed that Francis's trip to Egypt is an important step on the path of fraternity between peoples and also between the two confessions. Pope Francis, who addressed Tawadros II as brother, focused his speech on ecumenical dialogue. Copti, Orthodoxi, and Catholici, possiamo sempre più parlare insieme questa lingua comune della carità. Prima di intraprendere una iniziativa di bene, sarebbe bello chiederci se possiamo farla con i nostri fratelli e sorelle che condividono la fede in Gesù. Pope Francis also stressed that this dialogue is driven by the saints and martyrs of both churches and is united by the ecumenism of blood. Quanti martiri in questa terra? fin dai primi secoli del cristianesimo hanno vissuto la fede eroicamente e fino in fondo versando il sangue piuttosto che renegare il Signore e cedere alle lusinghe del male o anche solo alla tentazione di rispondere con il male al male. Afterwards, Pope Francis, while wearing a Coptic pectoral cross, and Tawadros II signed a joint declaration in which they pledged to advance both religions in full communion. As an outward sign, they declared that a person who wants to convert from one church to another will not have to be rebaptized. After the traditional exchange of gifts, both leaders walked together in procession to a church to participate in an ecumenical prayer. In his prayer, Pope Francis prayed for all Christians. Señor Jesús, te pido que nos bendigas, que bendigas a mi hermano, el Papa Tawadro II, que bendigas a todos mis hermanos obispos que estamos aquí. Que bendigas a todos mis hermanos cristianos y que nos lleves por el camino de la caridad y del trabajar juntos hacia la mesa de la Eucaristía. Amén. When he finished, the Pope wanted to pay tribute to the victims of the ISIS terrorist attack that took place on December 11, 2016, in which 29 people died and more than 30 were injured. Altogether, they prayed in front of the photographs of the victims, and Pope Francis placed white and yellow flowers at the spot in their honor. Amen.